from blues guys down in Memphis to hardcore guys down in their mommy's basement, if one thing is truly universal in music, it's bad microphone technique. Guys, if you can, drag your singer away from the mirror that he's been staring into for the last four hours, contemplating his own awesomeness, and tell him it's time to put down the bong and pay attention. This is how to hold a fucking microphone. Now I've gone to a lot of shows over the years, and yeah, the one constant is that most vocalists sound something similar to Mushmouth from the Fat Albert Gang. And why is this? Well, the only logical conclusion that I can make over many years of observation is that most singers just love to put a great big metal penis as close as they possibly can to their mouths. And then they'll cover it up with both their hands in a sad attempt to cover up what's really going on. Why is this bad? Well, aside from the obvious sexual overtones, there's some actual science going on here. Bass players might want to leave the room for this next part, as it's going to require some brain power. Maybe you guys can go find a ball to bounce. Most handheld microphones use what is called a cardioid pickup pattern, meaning sound is picked up from the front and generally rejected from the sides and the back. The trade-off here is something called proximity effect. And what that means is the closer a microphone gets to its source, the more the bass increases. Generally, I find the proximity effect kicks in at about two and a half inches on most vocalists. And this increases dramatically the closer the mic gets to a stupid fucking mouth. This is a fact that most singers are completely oblivious to. They'll wail away incessantly, meanwhile the audience suffers. Most male vocalists don't need the bass boost from a proximity effect. They can get by just fine if they pull the mic back about an inch away from their mouths, or better yet, two inches away from that never closing yap. Now, the other great travesty is the cupper. The guy who has to cover the mic capsule completely to focus the sound into the front of the mic. These guys are also known as complete fucking morons. And here's why. For a cardioid microphone to work correctly, sound not only has to come in to the front, but it also has to come into the sides and to the rear. Yes, you heard me correctly. Sound has to come in to the sides and to the rear. Trick is, all those little holes behind the capsule are actually tuned ports. And what those do is allow the sound to enter the rear of the capsule, but with a slight delay and the slight delay from the back of the mic cancels out with the sound entering the front of the mic, therefore making your mic directional. Now this translates into the real world like this. If you cover those tune ports with your hand, you're turning your mic into an omnidirectional mic, meaning sound is picked up from all directions. So not only are you turning your great cardioid into a shitty omni, you're gonna lose proximity effect and thin out your tone. And the worst part is because it's now an Omni, you're gonna be much more susceptible to feedback. It never ceases to amaze me how human beings can fuck up using even the most basic technology. If you wanna know just how bad cupping the mic really sounds, I'll demonstrate. This is me using proper microphone technique. This is me doing a cupping death metal vocal. Ooh, scary, scary, scary. I'm a scary death metal guy. Ooh, look out for me. I can't count how many shows I've gone to where the vocalist is cupping his mic, sounding like absolute garbage, feedback screeching, and then he's got the balls enough to blame the sound guy between the songs. Hey, sound guy, uh, can you fix this mic? Sure, bring it over here. Let me take a look at it. There, thank you. Let me fucking club you to death with it, you stupid fuck. I'll hand it to somebody who can hold it properly. There, problem solved. If you need verification for this, it's quite simple. Go to a heavy show where a number of bands are playing. Watch a band that has a vocalist who's also playing guitar. He won't have his hands anywhere near the mic and chances are he'll sound pretty good. The feedback issues will probably be pretty minimal. Then wait for a band that comes up with a cupper on vocals. Bring some earplugs.